Rusty's relaxing recliner. Okay, Rusty, we're here. What's the big news? I can't show you yet. I'm still waiting for my mom. I made her the best surprise ever. Whirly, I hope this is important. I'm in the middle of rewiring the living room and baking muffins. Trust me, Mom, it's super important. It's about you. Me? Oh, that's so sweet. Let me take a look, but I'm also trying to get the circuit breakers up and running by dinner time. That's why you're here. You work so hard and never take time for yourself. So I made you something to help you relax. Behold, my greatest invention yet! The Rivet's Relaxing Recliner. That is a fine-looking chair, Rusty. Oh, it's much more than a chair. Have a seat. Okay, let's test this puppy out. The Rivet's Relaxing Recliner has robotic massage arms, a comfort foam sleep mask that blocks out all light, and super noise-blocking headphones. It's the ultimate in relaxation. Wow, Rusty, this chair is the ultimate in relaxation. I'm glad you like it, Mom. Oh, I love it. This chair rocks. I guess I can take a minute to relax, but then... And now for the best part, the microphone. <laughs> Hair run away. <laughs> it has a microphone on it. If it hears a loud noise, the chair moves away so the noise won't wake my mom up. Nicely rustified. Thank you. Um, the chair ran away from a bee. I think maybe the microphone is a bit too sensitive. You're right. I'll just turn the chair off and adjust the microphone. Uh-oh! Now the chair's running away from itself! If we wake my mom up, she can jump off the chair. But wouldn't it be hard to wake her up with those headphones on? Yep, so we'll have to be extra loud. Okay, everyone, on the count of three, shout, wake up as loud as you can. One, two, Three! Yeah! <laughs> nope, didn't work. Oh, I've got it. We need something even noisier to wake her up. A noisemaker and a megaphone. One mega noisemaker coming up. Ah! Thanks, Ruby. Okay, Bodasaur, you're up. Earmuffs. They cancel out any noise the headphones don't with super muffle technology. Nice touch. Thanks. We have to think of something else before the chair runs away with my mom. So we can't wake her up? Not by making noise. Stop! Stop! Kids, like my new siren? In super quiet, super fast tiptoe mode. <laughs> Good luck! Nobody make. The monkeys. It's just a nice, normal walking chair, monkeys. Did the chair? 
chair just go up? Yup. I also programmed the chair to go up to get away from loud noises. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. Look, it's so high up, it's walking over houses. We need to fly up there in a plane to turn it off now, but planes are noisy. So how do we fly into the sky super quietly? I've got it. You'll fly the plane way above the chair and drop me onto it. Drop you? Don't worry. I'll be in a special flying suit. To the recycling yard, Bodasaur. <laughs> All right, Rusty. We're approaching the target. Calculating your jump trajectory. You're in perfect position. Time for me to fly. I made it. Wow, wow. <laughs> Rusty, is that you? Try, Rusty. Thanks. What we need is something that can fly me right beside the chair so I can't fall off. Yeah, something that doesn't make any noise. What flies but doesn't make noise? Let's find out. Nope. Definitely not. A, A balloon. balloon! Let's combine it and design it. First, we'll start with a giant helium balloon. Then add a passenger basket for us to ride in. And finally, a pedal-powered fan to steer the balloon and make it go fast, quietly. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Close. 
Carlos. I'm really sorry about all that. Sorry? Why, honey? That was awesome. I mean, yes, there was a little screaming, but what a view. It was so beautiful up there. You're the best, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Aww. Rusty, that was the best sleep I've had in a long time. Maybe just a few more minutes. Well, why don't I make a few little tweaks to the chair before you use it again? Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky situation. Hello, Spartan Hills, and welcome to the Wake Up and Smell the Roses contest. Soon I, official judge Officer Carl, will pick the best smelling rose as the winner because my nose knows. <laughs> <laughs> The contest is starting, Rusty. I'm so excited and so warm. Ooh, it's hot out here. Don't sweat it, Mom, because I brought my Windy Wonder 3000. You have always made such amazing inventions, ever since you were a baby. Like that rocket-powered stroller. <laughs> the Super Stroller 100. I'm so happy we entered the contest together. We grew a great-smelling rose. We sure did. <sighs> nice flower. Good luck, Frankie. May the best smelling flower win. Yeah, good luck, Rusty. But I will need luck when I have my mechanical rose. <sighs> ah, you know what that smells like? Winning! <laughs> hey, Rusty. Hey, Mrs. Rivets. I wanted to come see your flower. <gasps> it's beautiful. Hello, Rivets family. Prepare for sniffing. Hmm. Ah, it smells beautiful. Bold, exquisite, like fancy soap. Very nice. Awesome. Officer Carl, prepare your nostrils for a scent so special, so beautiful, so... Robotic? The rules clearly state that you have to grow your own rose. So sorry, Frankie, but you are disqualified. Disqualified? Unbelievable! If I can't win, then no one can. Hmm. What's the best way to ruin that delightful smelling contest? Hey! My skunk hat! Skunk. That's it! I'm going to build the stinkiest robot ever! Yes! It's alive! You've been Frenzified! I shall call you Frankfurt! Who's the little stinker? You are! Yes, you are, Frankfurt! Yes, you are! E.U. That smells bad! Which is oh so good! <laughs> yes. I wonder if the other roses smell better than ours. <gasps> it sounds like they smell terrible. Everyone, remain calm. <laughs> Sky! But, whoa! Wow! <laughs> Here comes the stink. The contest is on hold. I can't smell anything but skunk. We have to get that skunk back to its home in the forest before it ruins the contest. I'll stay here and try and stop that stink. You messed with the wrong mom, stink. How can we catch a skunk? Oh, I've got it. Let's get some bits on the fix. Whirly, we need the net launchers. Thanks, Whirly. <laughs> now let's find that skunk. He's heading that way. Hey there, little guy. We're here to help you. You'll never catch my little Frankfurt. Now! <laughs> Engage Ninja Skunk Mode. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a skunk do that before. That's because it's no ordinary skunk. It's robotic, which means Frankie must be behind this. He's trying to ruin the contest. There's no way we'll catch that robo-skunk with nets. 
We need to come up with a new plan. Back, Stinky Smell! Back! Uh-oh. We'd better check on my mom. I'll save you, little Rose! Mom, you got rid of all the stink! Thanks to your windy wonder, I won't let anything ruin our special day, Rusty. Ugh! You're not getting defeated by Rusty's mom! Oh! I'll help you climb up high so you can stink things up without being caught. <laughs> Did you two catch the skunk? We don't know where it went. I do! It's right over there! Incoming triple stink! I'll protect everyone's roses. I don't think your windy wonder is enough. I wish I had some perfume to keep the stink away. Perfume. That's it! I know how to get rid of the stink by making a giant perfume machine! Great idea! But we've got to hurry. If those big stink clouds reach the roses, it'll ruin them for sure. Now this is a perfume bottle. I'm not going to let one little robotic skunk ruin this day for my mom. beat my adorable little stinker. Frankie, we knew it. Maximum stink power! Shoppers, what an unusually beautiful day. Look out! Don't worry, Mr. Higgins. Got it. Uh-oh, but now it's headed for the flowers again. I'll blow the cloud straight up! 
Rusty, Ruby, thank you for saving the Wake Up and Smell the Roses contest. You're welcome. No problem. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Rivets. Thanks, Mom. But you hope, too. That's why I, Official Judge Officer Carl, declare you, Mrs. Rivets, the first ever Rose Queen of Spartan Hills. And I also declare your and Rusty's flower the best-smelling rose in Spartan Hills! Hey, what happened to Frankie and his robotic skunk? Winner Schminner! This contest stinks, right, Frankford? Yuck! I didn't mean make us stink! Ah, you did it again! This day totally rocked! It sure did, Mom. You and I make a pretty awesome team. <laughs> Rusty and the birthday surprise! It's almost dark. We need to hurry so we don't miss the baby turtles crawling out of the sand at nightfall. I love turtles, <laughs> especially hatching baby ones. And it's so awesome that they're hatching on your birthday, Ruby. Best birthday present ever. <laughs> Be back soon, but not too soon. <laughs> Shh. Have fun, Ruby. Okay, Bits. Operation Ruby Surprise Party is a go. <laughs> this is going to be the best surprise party ever! You know it. All of Ruby's friends from Sparkton Hills will be here. And Sammy's making Ruby's most favorite ice cream cake. <laughs> Perfect party. Wait, what are we missing? Ta-da! <laughs> Of course! An epic dance floor. Now everything's set to make Ruby's surprise party perfect. Let's go see how Sammy's coming along with that cake. Hi, Mr. Higgins. Oh, hello there, kids. Are you all ready for Ruby's surprise party? Wouldn't miss it. I'll be there as soon as I finish testing my new super powerful drawbridge motor. Oh my, I guess my motor is a little too powerful. I knocked the power out to the whole bridge. Um, not just the bridge. That could be a problem. Looks like the power is out all over Sparkton Hills, Mr. Higgins. And at the beach. Oh no, what about Ruby's party? I'm sure I can get the power back on in time. You two just worry about getting everything ready for the party. Okay, Mr. Higgins, we're off to get the cake. Call me if you need any help. Will do. <laughs> uh... All right. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. The power's out. Without power, Ruby's ice cream cake is going to melt. No! Don't worry, Liam. No ice cream cake is going to melt on my watch. I know! We can use Whirly's Super Freezer Attachment to keep the cake cold until the power's back on. Ooh, I love it! Let's get a freeze on, Whirly. Blow that cold air down! Okay, time for the cake. Ruby's gonna be so surprised! Hi, Rusty. Oh, hi, Ruby. <laughs> Wait till you see how super cute these baby turtles are. <laughs> they really are adorable. I'm glad you got to see them. What a great birthday you're having. <laughs> Wait, are you shivering? Uh, yeah. It got really cold here. <laughs> <laughs> huh, strange. Anyway, we're heading back soon. No! I mean... <laughs> Worry. We have lots more pictures to take. Great. Well, see you soon ish. Phew, Ooh. that was close. We'd better get back to the beach. People will be arriving any minute. 
I'll just tag along. I'm so glad we saved Ruby's cake. The party would be ruined. Uh-huh. But you know what else could ruin a party? No party goers! Sorry, Rusty, Liam. <laughs> Turns out I had to order a new part to fix the power. Won't be here till morning. But Ruby's party is tonight. How is everyone going to get to the beach if the drawbridge doesn't work? There's no other way around. I'm afraid you'll have to cancel. No, there's got to be a way. I know. People may not be able to cross the bridge, but with a little extra oomph, the mobile rivet lab could jump it. Yeah, we could pick everyone up from the town and bring them over. Then the awesome surprise party that got ruined until we fixed it, then got ruined again, would be fixed again. <laughs> Let's get this party bus on the road. <laughs> I'll let everyone know you're coming. Okay. Okay, everyone's on board. Liam, Bits, we need to make a mobile rivet launcher to get us all across. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, everyone, buckle up. We need to get back to the beach before Ruby does. Here we go. Ruby should be here any minute. Who knew a surprise party would be this hard to pull off? But now that everyone's here and the cake is saved, what else could go wrong? It's Ruby! Shh. <gasps> Hi, Rusty. The lighthouse isn't on, so it's too dark to get back tonight. <gasps> oh, no. We're gonna turn around and come back in the morning. No! I mean, I'll call you back. Bye! That's so weird. I was just wondering what else could go wrong. How can we have a surprise party if the person we're surprising isn't coming? Huh? We've got to get her back. I ruined the party. If I hadn't blown out the power, Ruby and Ranger Anna would be able to see the lighthouse. We're not giving up that easily, Mr. Higgins. Right, Liam? Right, Rusty. They can take our power, but they'll never take our party! Yeah! I know! We can make our own super rustified lighthouse. Hold tight, Ruby. We're coming to get you. Glad to hear it. Because we just got stuck on a sandbar trying to go back. We'll be here waiting. Great! Let's combine it and design it! <laughs> First, we'll supersize Ray and put a bigger lens on him so he'll shine extra bright. Then we can use Claw to boost supersized Ray up high so we can see. Last but not least, we'll attach them to the rivet shark so we can go mobile. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Ruby home. 
time to bolt! <gasps> Ranger Anna's boat has to be out here somewhere. <gasps> Ray! Back to the left! I think I see it! There they are! Hooray! Hey, Rusty! Ruby! Ranger Anna! We're going to tow you back now! Oh, thanks, Rusty! Okay, Liam. Deploy the grappling hook. <laughs> Engage forward thrusters. Just a little more. We're going home! Now we just have to tow them back to the party. They're coming! Everyone get ready! Make sure to keep your light away from the mobile rivet lab so Ruby doesn't see the party guests. Thump off! Thanks for coming to get us. And for the ride back. Well, it's not over yet. <laughs> Tea. Huh? What's not over yet? Okay, everyone, now! Surprise! <gasps> what? Really? Happy birthday, Ruby! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ruby! You did all this for me? I can't believe it! We wanted you to have the best birthday ever because you're the best friend ever. Ta-da! My favorite ice cream cake. You guys thought of everything. Thank you all so much. So let's get this party started. Fire up the dance floor. Irma. <laughs> on my best birthday ever. Rusty's Ninja Fish Rescue. Time for a twisting rivet shark loop-de-loop. Maybe the octopus will let go of the ship if we give it something else to grab onto. 
like a... That stuff laying around. Great idea, Rusty. Oh, oh. We'll pick them up with the rivet shark's vacuum, then toss them to the octopus. <laughs> Whoa! It didn't just catch them, it's juggling them. It's really having fun. Sure is, but it's still got arms on the ship. And the ninja fishies are still trapped inside. What are we gonna do now? I've got an idea. We can use the rivet shark's grappling hook tail to tug the ship away from the octopus. Then ninja fish and I can help the ninja fishies swim out. Can you take over the controls, Captain Ruby? Aye, aye, Rusty. Ready. In three, two, one, launch! Okay, Ninja Fish, ready to distract the octopus? Okay, Captain Ruby, Operation Tugboat is a go. Roger that, Rusty. <laughs> Hold on, little fishies. We're about to get you out. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Try now, Ninja Fish. Oh, so close. Now, go. Ruby, pull harder. If someone told me I'd be playing tug of war with a giant octopus today, I'd have said, no way. With those suction cups on his arms, he's got a really good grip. He's not going to budge, Rusty. Oh, no. We need a new plan. <laughs> and fast. <laughs> the ninja fishies are still trapped in there, and that octopus isn't budging. How are we going to get the octopus away from the ship? It's got too many arms. Oh, I know. We'll be back soon, Ninja Fish. I've got a new idea. The octopus has eight arms, so we need eight arms too. We'll turn the rivet shark into an octopus sub. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with the rivet shark. Then we'll add eight arms. And last but not least, suction cups for the arms. Just like the octopus has for gripping things. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile. Give Ninja Fish a hand, or eight. Hey there, Octopus. We look like you now. Give me a high five. On the side, again, and again. That a boy. <laughs> 
Over here, away from the ship. Ruby, keep the octopus busy. I'm going in. You've got it, Rusty. The suction cups are stuck to the chest. We did it! We saved the ninja fishies! <laughs> yep, let's get those ninja kids back. Turbo power on. <laughs> you can't lose us, or Octosel can go anywhere you can. <gasps> I think the octopus is trying to hide. Now's our chance. Ninja fishies, you're coming home. Oh. Oh. Back home again. Huh? Why he take the ball? That was strange. Do you think he wants us to throw it back? Like catch? Yeah. Here, octopus, catch. You're right. It's playing catch with us. It wasn't trying to trap Ninja Fish's kids. It just wanted to play with the ball. And earlier, it really was playing tug of war with us and hide and seek. That's why it's been smiling. It just wanted to play with us the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> but he's still getting the hang of hide and seek. <laughs> we'll work on that. <laughs> 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 